Okay, next we're going to talk about function notation. This is something you're going to see a lot of here. Um, I'm looking at example two on page 257. Um, you're going to see something, I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Um, this notation right here, this is function notation. And we say this as f of x. So when you see this this way, it's f of x. If there's another letter in front, this would be, if this is f of x, this is g of x. Okay, so uh, 2x minus 3. What you need to understand is, is that f of x is functionally the same as y. This is another one of those things that right now doesn't make a lot of sense, but as we move on will make more sense. Um, there are some things in the future that if you could put everything in terms of x, in terms of one variable, instead of two x and y, it's easier to work with. So this is what, notice that there's no y here. You have x and then you have function of x. So you still have x, but they act the same way. Now, so it says uh, on example two to evaluate when x is negative 2. Now the proper way to do this says what is it when x is negative 2? What you're going to do is you're going to say you're going to replace all x's with negative 2. You'll say f of negative 2 equals 2 times negative 2 minus 3. Simplify this. 2 times negative 2 is? Negative 4. Negative 4 minus 3 is? Negative 7. Okay, so you would say f of negative 2 equals negative 7. So you just pull the f of negative 2 all the way down and say that equals negative 7. This is just like input-output table, but it's just written a little bit differently. I think on your homework, it says to evaluate the function when x is 3, 0, and negative 2. So it gives you multiple numbers that you'll put in. So you'll do negative 7, and then let's just try another number. Let's say, let's do when x is 0. So we would say f of 0 equals 2 times 0 minus 3. So 2 times 0 is? 0. zero. zero minus 3 is? Three. Right. So we would say f of 0 is negative 3, f of negative 2 is negative 7. Okay? So nothing too complicated there.